Good morning, students and staff. I want to come to you this morning to talk directly to students about the tragic event that occurred yesterday at Tanglewood Middle School, which involved a deadly weapon at school. There is no doubt that this event is going to have an impact on families for the foreseeable future. It has been reported that a young middle school student at Tanglewood Middle School has in fact lost his life. The death of a student will have profound impact on the entire Greenville community. Even though Tanglewood Middle School is not a feeder middle school to our building, there are still several connections with each other as a school community. We have staff members in our building who have spouses that work there. We have Wade Hampton students who have family members that attend Tanglewood Middle. We have alumni of Wade Hampton High School that have children that attend there as well. Our hearts go out to the students, the staff, the families and friends who have been directly impacted by this tragedy. In times like this, I want to remind all of us about the power of relationships and the need for us to develop long lasting, trusting relationships with each other. You see, the more that we can do that, the more we're able to be proactive in preventing tragic events. While nothing is 100% guaranteed, this approach increases our chances of students coming forward with information that is vital to school safety. It's also a stark reminder about why we are so focused and so diligent about policies and practices that sometimes may frustrate you as a student, but they are designed to keep us all safe. With that in mind, I wanna give you a few ideas on how to cope with the death of a student even one that did not attend our school. One, let's acknowledge the intensity of any loss. The death of a student will and can affect the entire school body, even those who did not know the deceased. Rituals can sometimes provide a source of continuity. For example, letters or cards to families can give students comfort and it can give the family support at a time like this. Second, remember that any death can reawaken feelings about a past loss. We know that, pet, that both teens and adults who have experienced any death prior to this one can feel the impact of that loss again. Sometimes those feelings can surface and bubble up and may remind us about the past loss and it may not even be connected to this most recent death. That is totally okay. And I suggest you find a trusted adult or friend to share those feelings. Third, it's important that we avoid judgment around the circumstances of this event. We understand that some students may not have a need to talk about this at all. We also recognize that some students may need to return to a normal routine, while others may need additional time to grieve and talk about this. I know that we have formed great relationships with adults in our building, and we are all here to be a listening ear for you. School counselors here in this building are ready to talk with any student that may require some additional support. And so I urge you to seek them out if needed. I also urge you to feel free to express your emotions with anyone you trust. That could be an adult, that might be a close peer friend to you. As always, my shoulders and ears are always open and available. Thank you for your attention. I want you to keep working hard today to make today special for you and the people around you. And remember to keep leading like generals.